Fire! Welcome! This is edition number 61 of Records Roundup. Welcome, thank you for joining me once again. And as per usual, I've got a nice selection of vinyl to show you today. No CDs today, it's all on wax, including two mail openings to do near the end, both from the same website, but they were separate orders, so they've been sent out separately both new releases as well. Right, let's get cracking with some of the stuff that I've had for a few days or a week or so now, and that I didn't get to show you in the last Records Roundup number 60, because that was a Rolling Stone special. But I did mention in that video that there was a couple of albums that I'd ordered along with some of these Stones albums that I've been buying, adding to my collection, that I was gonna save for this video. This is the first one. It is from Bending Sound Records in Bangor, Northern Ireland. And it's the debut album from Pulp. This is an album that I've never owned before. It's called It, by the way, I should point that out. It says on screen the date, but I've got a feeling it's 83. It was originally out and it did nothing in the charts. In fact, the first three Pulp albums, none of them sold particularly well. I've never heard this album before, never owned it. There will be some tracks on it I'm familiar with though, vaguely because I remember having a compilation on CD by Pulp. I think it was called Countdown in the mid 90s and it was released sort of at the height of, you know, different class and common people, etc, etc. But it covered a lot of the singles and a few other tracks from Pulp's sort of pre-Britpop years really and um, there'll be presumably at least a couple of those tracks from that compilation that feature on it here. It's just standard black vinyl. This wasn't one that I was particularly desperate to get. I'm a pulp collector. I've got all their studio albums from his and hers to We Love Life, but it was the first three I wasn't particularly interested in collecting, but I kind of want to now. I mean, there's only three of them. I've got one here, as you can see, it's got a sale price sticker on. What's the original price, 24 pound. So a fairly good saving there, under £20. I always say if it's a brand new LP and it's under 20 then unless it's a really awful artist, then it's going to be worth a punt really. And um, I bought this at the same time as I got Metamorphosis by the Rolling Stones, which I showed you last time round. Can't really speak a lot about it. As I say, there is some tracks, or probably a couple at the very least, that I did have on the Countdown CD back in the 1990s but I think I only listened to that once or twice and that's going back almost 30 years ago now. There we are, it from Sheffield's own Pulp. It can wait for a moment, well in fact It can wait all day I just wanted to bring you up here So you could have the chance to see The beauty of this situation that you can share with me It may seem strange To talk of love and the lighthouses It's not strange to me Hey, 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 hey All alone You and all in a high tower That's the I find it quite surprising actually that there hasn't been a Pulp Greatest Hits that's come out on vinyl. They did release a hits compilation uh, sometime in the 2000s or 2010s, but as far as I could tell when I was looking at it on Discogs, it's only ever come out on CD. That's something I think really needs a vinyl issue or maybe what with them reforming recently to do certain concert dates, Pulp need to issue a brand new compilation album. Anyway, we move on. This is another album that was part of an order that consisted of Rolling Stones records. This was from Asai Records in Glasgow. I purchased, uh, which ones was it? I think it was Some Girls and Undercover. I'm losing track from Asai, and I wanted to get over the £50 mark for my order to get free postage as once again it was quite close to it 
and I thought, well, I might as well buy something else. So I was looking around, seeing if there's any good deals, and I decided to get this, and it fits well in my Joy Division New Order collection, because it is Warsaw by Warsaw but really it's Joy Division. This is like a semi-official release. I mean, according to the Discogs database, it's unofficial, but it's not so unofficial that they're banning people from selling it, so, you know. It's got the RCA sessions, as they're kind of colloquially known, which was kind of their attempt at recording an album. I think they might have actually changed the name to Joy Division by then, so it's a little bit misleading for this album, at least, to still be called Warsaw. I do have these tracks on CD, there again it's another unofficial CD and I think a couple or maybe three of them have featured on future Joy Division retrospectives as well. This is on the record label DOL, this or something very similar has been reissued no end of times and it's on 180 gram grey colour vinyl, let's get it open and have a better look. I do double up on New Order, triple up really, if you include cassette issues that I've shown. And therefore I double up on Joy Division and any other New Order related project as well, generally. And this ended up costing, I think this was something like £12.99 or £13.99. While I'm on the subject, I actually also ordered a couple of Joy Division live albums from Rough Trade, but this was over two weeks ago, in fact when this video comes out it's going to be more like nearly a month ago and at the time of me standing here recording this there's just been no movement, I've contacted Rough Trade on Twitter slash X I've filled out their little chat bot form thing just saying look why isn't there any movement I'm disappointed in Rough Trade to be honest, I'm maybe going to stop looking there for stuff I ordered those two Joy Division live albums which I do already own on CD by the way I won't talk too much about them in case, by some miracle, Rough Trade do get back to me. But they've been very ignorant at the moment, not responding. I know it's a big company, they're busy, but there must be someone in their social media department or in their customer services department who can just send me a quick reply like, oh yeah, we haven't forgotten your order. I got them because they were a good price and um, at the time Rough Trade were offering free postage with a code. But anyway, back to Warsaw. Oh, so it actually comes in a clear inner. I don't really call these inners, I call them protective outers, but a little bit unusual that. I possibly might swap that out for just a paper or poly lined inner, I should say. Uh, but there's your very, very understated disc. I mean, it's barely a centre label, really, just a tiny one. Um, quite unusual. It looks good, it's effective enough, I suppose. So yeah, this is a bit of an impulsive purchase really, as although I'm a collector of anything Joy Division and New Order related, I knew that a vinyl edition of this album had been reissued unofficially for the most part, no end of times over the years, and I'd got a CD that I think has extra tracks on it anyway, but this one I thought I'd get it, Warsaw and Warsaw, but for all intents and purposes it's early Joy Division material. On now to a couple of pickups from another favourite site of mine, Vinyl Tap over in Huddersfield. One of these is a collection completer, as far as studio albums are concerned anyway. Whether I'm going to get a compilation, I think I probably should, but we'll get on to that. But the first one I'll show you, I don't want to say this is impulsive because I've been thinking of collecting this group for a while. They've not actually got that many of their albums out on vinyl, although only a few days ago the record store day 2024 drop was announced 
and this group have two albums coming out like an older one that might be kind of a compilation and then one that I think is their most recent album and this was also a record store day issue but this was back in 2020 this came out and it is an album from GLC Goldie Looking Chain and original pyrite material this will be on gold vinyl I believe so we'll get this open and have a look at it I think GLC are great um, I've always enjoyed their work they've done so much and the majority of it is kind of available digitally and on their YouTube channel CD as well to an extent but very little actually out on vinyl but as I say there is two more GLC albums coming out on vinyl for this year's record store day so those are two that I definitely want to pick up for RSD but original pyrite material I think the album digitally and possibly CD I'm not sure if it even got a CD issue either came out 2019 and then it was issued on vinyl for the first time in it would have been April I think 2020 or no, I think that three different record store day drops that year didn't they so it might have been later on I don't know why I'm speculating because the release dates on screen plain inner and as stated it's gold vinyl great stuff just a funny comedy rap group nearly said band who obviously i mean they're very welsh there's a lot of references to where they're from and their environment in all their work they were kind of a charting act sort of 20 years ago and now I think they're a bit more sort of niche and maybe seen as a bit novelty although they're probably arguably seen as novelty even from the start. I really like their work I've got a few of their tracks digitally and it's just nice to be able to collect them on vinyl. Looking forward to it a lot. GLC original pyrite material. It's like a light jog when you're on the run I use the minimum of effort just to get the job done It's not as if I'm operating heavy machinery So I can still function when I'm on the greenery We're on another level when it comes to rap Blog junk can't lead to a fucking weather map We're pioneers in the game of hip-hop Blog beat the Sullivan to a corner shop We might miss a cue or forget our bits Like Sam and Mick when they did the bricks We could blame the draw or the beer But it's GLC not fucking Shakespeare the second item from this vinyl tap order is one that won't surprise anyone who's been following this records roundup madness journey that I've been on it is of course the one remaining Madness studio album that I needed to finish this collection. It is finished now with Wee Wee CC Ya Ya Da Da. Once again, as all the other ones I've got are, it is the remastered and reissued LP. Double vinyl this one, as are two or three of the other ones that are a little more recent, what I would call modern era Madness. Don't think I've heard anything or very little on here, but I've been loving Madness so much. You know, once I'd started that collection and I was getting all their, you know, 80s studio albums quite cheap, I had to really go the whole hog and get them all. There's some bonus tracks which I think are on side four of this album. There might be some on side three, I'm not sure. I think Peter Blake designed this sleeve, by the way. It shows you sort of previous working titles and suggested titles. Um, to be honest, all of which are, in my opinion, better than the one they ended up with. It doesn't really matter about an album title, ultimately. I do feel, especially as there is a few singles that didn't feature on any albums, that I need to get a compilation album from them, so that's something I'm going to be looking out for. I think the one I'm going to go for is the one Richard McCook showed on his vinyl update not too long ago, which is the 4LP version with the pop-up center, pop-up gatefold of our house, I think it, no, full house, I think it's called, the best of madness. The madness compilation that I used to have on cassette back in the 90s was Divine Madness, and I've been looking out for a reasonably priced mini disc copy of that for many years now, but I've just had no joy, so I think I probably need to put that idea, that ambition to bed. 
and um, get the full house compilation, preferably the 4LP one. It is also out in a cheaper 2LP version that would presumably have all the tracks that I don't own physically, such as Our House, House of Fun, wasn't on an album. Um, there's at least a couple of others in the 80s that definitely didn't come on any of the studio albums. But um, I think in for a penny, in for a pound, I'm gonna look for that try and get it for as reasonable price as possible but in the meantime i shall listen to wee wee cc ya ya da da which completes the madness studio albums library for me well, we had that fight in your car. you left me in the pub i see her talking to her friends acting like she just don't care she has flair and the way she moves with such grace She's so fine, she looks so cool, got no time And nobody's fool, cause my girl She don't read books, so my girl She give me dirty looks I'm going to be what she wants me to be I'm a man doing all I can Cause my girl, it's above the rest of my girl She's sure the best, oh my All right, now moving on to two mail openings, and this one, it being a rather smaller size than what you would expect, obviously this is a seven inch single, and any regular viewers can probably hazard a good guess as to what single this will be. This was an order from Townsend Music, pre-ordered it, I think, late last year. It's a new release, as in, it came out, I'm recording this on a Saturday, so technically it came out yesterday, but it arrived a day late today, that's no big deal. Not really talked too much about prices for any of these either, have a Goldy looking chain, that was pretty reasonable, that was like 15 pound. And Madness, not too bad either, that was around 23, 24 I think. Anyway, moving back to this single here, and of course it is my favorite suede track. My favorite suede single, certainly. I think, yeah, probably my favorite suede track overall. Stay Together, the 30th anniversary picture disc reissue. Yeah, you all know about the Suede 30 campaign. I feel like I'm repeating myself a lot because I've collected all these singles. I started a bit late as the Drowners. I didn't pick that up initially, but fortunately it did get a repressing. But all the rest, I've been pre-ordering them and getting them as they come out. There was an announcement either by Suede or by Demon Records who said that um, this is going to continue with four more singles which was including this one but then that would mean the next three singles that were all off Dogman Star will get reissued. None of those are up for pre-order yet but I will be checking and of course you will no doubt see those on the channel. The B-side is The Living Dead. Have I got that on the Sci-Fi Lullabies compilation? I uh, can't remember. Stay Together is just awesome, just one of the best singles of the 90s and certainly a Britpop high point, I think. Delighted with that. Love these little picture discs here. They're fun to collect, they're inessential, but a lot of things are inessential, but it doesn't mean they're not fun to get and they're enjoyable to listen to, because they are. Suede and the 30th anniversary Stay Together. To my arms just you and me together on the electric line. She will dance and pause and pray. We can stay a while and come to time. Stay together. Stay, stay. Finally, another delivery from Townsend Music came separate because it was a separate order. Another pre-order though, and this is a totally new release from one of my favourite bands of all time. I'd heard last year on Twitter that they were in the studio recording new material, so it was pretty obvious that a new album was coming out. 
I think technically this group are classed as a three piece now. For years they'd been a four piece and they had like a slight lineup change when one of the original members left 10-ish years ago. Uh, this particular album, I think this was $24.99 plus a bit in postage. But good to get from Townsend because this is a store exclusive, a D2C exclusive, Townsend always call it. And it came with a free bonus. Oop. Yeah, nice. Right then, so I'll show you the bonus item in a sec. But the album itself, of course, is the new one from Cast, Love is the Call. This is getting rave reviews from people all over social media. I keep seeing, you know, this is Cast's best album either ever or in many years. I'm a big fan of their first two albums in particular, All Change and Mother Nature Calls. So, you know, this has got to go some to really get up to that standard. Their last album actually, Kicking Up The Dust, I thought was really good. It had a couple of really strong singles on it, I thought, but I think it went a little bit under the radar. Whereas this seems to be getting quite a decent amount of hype and publicity. So this being the store exclusive version. I think the normal version is pink vinyl, which sounds weird to say, but I don't think there is a black vinyl version. There probably is, and I'm totally getting that wrong. But um, all the ones I've seen so far have been either pink or this Townsend exclusive version here. So I'll get this open and show you the colour. Although from the hype sticker, I think you can probably guess what colour this is. Custom inner there, and it's on, oh that's nice, a bold but not overly dark green. So yeah, I really like that. Superb stuff there from Cast. Martin Harris, who of course a lot of people watching me will know Martin, he got a pink vinyl edition signed and I think a CD for a friend of his signed. Uh, a recent cast in-store band, sort of, you know, those little in-store mini gigs that a lot of groups are doing at record stores now. He always goes to the ones that are hosted by or organised by a slice of vinyl, which is a record store. I do look at their website occasionally. If they ever have a good sale on or just some interesting looking deals, I will try and buy from them at some point because I know Martin, he gets everything that he can do from there because that's literally his local record store and so he's able to pop in whenever he wants. I did say there was something else to show you and it's this here which is very nice. I'm going to put this in the sleeve alongside the album but it's a signed 12 inch print. The signatures skin is there. I think that's John Powers and I think that's Keith's there. That's just a nice thing that didn't cost any extra. It was just sort of a freebie if you pre-ordered the green vinyl exclusive edition at Townsend. Lovely stuff. So that is Love Is The Call, the latest album from Britpop veterans cast. Can I see your face again? One more kiss before the There we go, records roundup number 61, done and dusted. Lots of great stuff here. Looking forward to diving into all that. Obviously the Warsaw slash Joy Division kind of album is um, something that I'm familiar with, having listened to those tracks for many years now. But even so, just a nice, a little bit quirky edition for my New Order and related collection. And of course we've got stuff from Pulp, Goldie Looking Chain, Madness of course and cast and suede as well. I want to say special thanks to all of my wonderful subscribers and generous patrons. I'm gonna go now Start listening to some of this stuff still got plenty of the Rolling Stones records that I showed you in records round up 60 to get under my belt still looking for stones records at a good price 
the kind of ones from the 70s now that I'm missing seem to be a little bit, they're not too expensive, but they're kind of over my budget for the stones at the moment. But we'll see. And you know me, I might well change my mind and decide I'm just going to get them at this slightly bigger price anyway. But I shall go ahead and do all that now and hope that you will join me again next time for my next records roundup and record collecting video. Cheers everyone. See ya!